the following chemical energetics question uh, uh, requires you to draw a hair cycle and the question states that uh, the information that's provided to you is that you're given uh, uh, the enthalpy change for this reaction so this reaction could be classified as uh, the enthalpy change of combustion of carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is reacting or burning with oxygen producing carbon dioxide so the enthalpy change for this reaction is minus 283 kilojoules per mole then you are given the uh, uh, enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen or you can also call it the enthalpy of formation of H2O in which uh, H2 and O2 combine to form H2O so that's uh, given it's minus 286 kilojoules per mole and then you are given uh, the enthalpy uh, this is a condensation reaction H2O gas is getting converted into H2O liquid so the enthalpy change is given now, uh, remember, uh, uh, all these reactions are classified at di as different enthalpies, so you can't really uh, use the formulas uh, for finding the enthalpy change. So the question states, what is the change in enthalpy for the following reaction? So you need to figure out uh, the enthalpy change for this particular reaction. And the only way to figure this uh, enthalpy change is by drawing a Hess cycle. A uh, Hess law states that one path of a reaction is basically equal to the, the energy change evolved in one path is the same as energy change evolved in another path as long as the reactants and your products are exactly the same so if uh, this is the reaction and this is the enthalpy change i need to find out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try these are my reactants i'm going to try and create another path that would produce the same products and the enthalpy change of that particular path or the energy change of that path would be exactly the same as the enthalpy change for this reaction because the same amount of bonds are being broken and the same amount of bonds are being formed so i'm going to now describe to you how a different route could be created using these three reactions uh, and the enthalpy changes given above so i've uh, copied the reactions over the same reaction over here and let's start drawing the Hess cycle so these are my reactants and these are my products and I have to create another path. Now I'm going to start off with uh, this equation over here, this H2 plus half O2, it's reacting and it's producing H2O. So let's start with this reaction and I'm going to try and connect it with this uh, reaction that we have written over here. So H2, uh, in this case H2 gas is reacting with half O2 and it's producing H2O liquid. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to add half O2 over here. And I'm going to react this H2 over here with the half O2 and it's going to produce uh, it's going to produce uh, H2O liquid. Let's underline this reaction. So it would produce H2O liquid. So the reaction would be and the product would be that this H2 gas would react with half O2 and it would produce H2O but in liquid form. Remember the states are important in this question. So H2O liquid would be formed. Carbon dioxide is not playing any role whatsoever in this reaction. So I'm going to write carbon dioxide as it is. It's not doing anything. So it's not involved in this reaction. In this reaction or in this path over here, it's, uh, carbon dioxide is not doing anything. So if the reactants had carbon dioxide, the products are also going to have carbon dioxide. So it's not taking part in the reaction. So the enthalpy change for this little reaction that we did over here is given as minus 286 kilojoules per mole. So that's provided to us. It's minus 286 kilojoules per mole. So I've uh, I've connected this second reaction with my uh, original reaction over here. Now I'm going to pick the first reaction. The first reaction states that carbon monoxide reacts with half O2 and produces carbon dioxide. So I have carbon monoxide over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Uh, half O2 over here and I'm going to react it with oxygen and it would produce uh, carbon dioxide so it's going to produce carbon dioxide and since this H2 over here is not doing anything uh, I'm going to write it as it is uh, in my products as well so so carbon dioxide gas would be produced plus I would have H2O gas, it's not doing anything in the reaction. So in this particular reaction, the only thing I did was that carbon monoxide got converted to carbon dioxide and the enthalpy change for that reaction is given as minus 283 kilojoules per mole. So this is minus 286 kilojoules per mole. 
Now my path, my route, my the second route is still not complete because there is one reaction. Uh, but I need still need to connect uh, these two because uh, I need to create another path. So if I do that, let's say I connect these two together. Then you would notice that in this reaction over here, in this path over here, the only thing that's happening is carbon dioxide gas is your reactants, carbon dioxide gas is also your product. So that's not playing any role in this reaction. The only thing that's happening is that H2O liquid is getting converted into H2O gas in this little path over here. H2O liquid gets converted to H2O gas. And we have the enthalpy change for that reaction as well, H2O liquid would be getting would be converted to H2O gas and we're talking about the reverse reaction so the enthalpy change for the reverse reaction H2O liquid getting converted to H2O gas is going to be plus 44 kilojoules per mole so I'm going to write that plus 44 kilojoules per mole so now I've successfully created another path this is the original path that I wanted this is the path I wanted the enthalpy change for this path but I've come up with a, an alternative path for the same reaction. So the enthalpy change for this reaction over here, the enthalpy change for this reaction that we wanted to calculate, the enthalpy change for this reaction would be equal to the enthalpy changes of all the other paths combined. Now one thing I need to do is I need to, uh, the other path would be I would go from, uh, uh, I would follow this route, then I would go from this point to this point, and afterwards, I need to convert the direction of the arrow over here because I need to form my products. If I if I go in the opposite direction, the enthalpy change for this path would change. It would become plus 286. So my other path would be, I will move from this point to this point, then from this point to this point, and then from this point to this point. So this arrow needs to be reversed. And if you reverse that, the enthalpy change for this uh, reaction is going to, uh, the sign needs to be changed. And finally, I need to, uh, the enthalpy change, I need to do some calculations. The enthalpy change for the reaction delta H would be equal to the sum of all the enthalpy changes of the, this other path. So it's going to be, it's going to be minus 286 plus 44 and plus 286. I also need to make one correction because I, uh, this is a mistake. It's not uh, 286. It's actually 283. So let's uh, correct this. This enthalpy change was 283. That's given over here. It was minus 283 and we reversed the path. So it's uh, plus 283. So let's uh, correct, correct that. It's not going to be plus 286. It's actually going to be plus 283. So using my calculator now to uh, find the answer, the answer is going to be, it's going to be 41 kilojoules per mole and according to this the correct option is going to be it's going to be option C